So how I've spent the last several years of my life is finding people who successfully reinvented themselves in many different industries, including the entertainment industry, and ask them what they did, but more importantly, notice what steps they went through. Here's the essence of reinventing yourself that we noticed when we went out and talked with people. Now in the course, we're going to do a deep dive on core values. Core values tell you who you are. They tell you the principles about yourself that you should never violate. It's your source of, of boundless energy. You know how some people get involved in a project and they just get so excited and they never want to stop. Where does that come from? It comes from aligning what they're doing with their core values. Now in the webinar, we're going to focus on the other three aspects of reinventing yourself, which are outcomes, assets, and actions. So if you just follow me for the next couple minutes, you'll see how to do this. Then we're going to look at an example of someone who actually did it, and then I'm going to guide you through the steps to do it yourself. So, first of all, outcome to answer is a question. You can see outcomes here at the top of the screen on the PowerPoint. The question that it answers is, what do I or we want? Okay, what do we want? Outcomes have to be measurable. They have to have a date attached. It has to be specific, and it has to be clear. We'll talk about why that's the case later. So after you identify what it is you want to do, then you move on to the second discussion. The second discussion you can see is called assets. Assets also answers a question, but it's a different question. The question assets answers is what do you have? It includes everything that you have from cash to your network to your skills to that which you're passionate about. Perhaps even some skills that seem a little bit out of the ordinary, things that you can use to brand yourself. That's assets. Now, before we move on to the third area, which you can see is actions, and being the smart person that you are, you can probably see the actions is going to have something to do with specific behaviors, we have to ask a test question. And here's the test question. Do I have enough assets to get to where I want? And you get to play the role of Caesar. Yes, I have enough, which lets me move on. Or no, I don't have enough. There's nothing wrong with a no, but we have to deal with it before we move on. So assuming the answer is yes, we'll talk about what to do with the answer, if the answer is no in a bit. If the answer is yes, then we move on to the third and last area of this uh, strategic plan to reinvent myself. And it's, what am I going to do? So outcomes answers the question, what do I want? Assets answers the question, what do I have? Do I have enough? Then you move on to actions. What specifically am I going to do? Now, before you start implementing the plan, you have to do another test question, which is also on the screen, which is, if I do these actions, are these going to take me to where I want to go, which is my outcomes? So you make sure that these actions are sufficient, perhaps even uh, with a little bit of redundancy built in, to take me to where I want to go. That is the, the process of reinventing yourself. Now, before showing you the example, let me just step back here. When we interview people who successfully reinvented themselves, here's what almost all of them said. They said, I didn't know what I was doing. It felt like I was making it up as I went. My anxiety during the time was very high. It always seemed like I was just kind of juggling. Uh, it seemed like the wheels could have come off the car at any time. That's a quote from one of the people that we interviewed. But in the end, when we look back at the process that they were using, it was remarkably systematic. It followed, in fact, this format that we're showing you. So then we took this and we taught it to people who successfully used it to reinvent themselves. Now, the question you might be asking is, this is a very simple plan, reinventing myself seems bigger. Here's the truth about how you reinvent yourself. First, you have to figure out what your values are, that which will not change. Again, we'll do a deep dive on that in the course. Then you set up a series of very short-term strategies, just like this, using this model, to take you a little bit of the distance from where you are to where you want to go. And then you do another strategy, and another strategy, and another strategy. You might do several strategies at the same time. Something unexpected might happen. It could be something good. It could be something bad. What do you do in that case? You pull out another sheet of paper, and you do it again, and you constantly re-strategize. The art of reinventing yourself is the art of a series of these micro-strategies all pointing in the same general direction.